Bro, Adam Twenty Two, man, over no jumper, he's going through it, man. A lot of yo, it's crazy, right? That need to be addressed. I was sixteen, girls my age, right? Adam was fucking girls that was the same age as me when I was sixteen. Like, what's wrong with you, bro? She was nineteen when you met her. Yeah, the you... article says it. So, but what did you say? I said that I spoke to her on the phone when she was sixteen before I realized that she was. That's how we she catch him. She, she didn't even know that she was doing something fucked up. But it don't even matter, but that's how that's we catch him. You... About the fact, and this is 2008, and I think I wrote about it. I made a joke about the fact that I, you know, had been pretty interested in her before I realized that she was underage, right? A oh, joke. Man. Uh, so apparently, uh, Adam 22. Yeah, before my son said that, right? I ain't gonna lie. I've been, I've been seeing like slowly, like the. The old, like the people that been rocking with my son, like type, you know what I'm saying? Type edging away, or like I, I had seen some where it was like a lot of them had quit, like AD and them and all those other guys. I don't know why, but I feel like my, I feel like Adam just been just catching all L's recently. I don't know what that's about. But that, that, come on, man. 16 year old, should we come on? Feet? Like, it seems come on, like he's family? trying to pivot away from hip hop um, content. Oh, the okay. doing so, he spoke um, pretty ill about some of his co workers, some of the ones who stood 10 toes down for him throughout the past couple of years. As he's making the pivot, uh, this got wind back to some of the co workers. Mm. Uh, then they decided that, you know, we're going to stand in unity and, and leave. Once this Richard Spencer shit happens, I go on at the end of the day and I say, hey, you know what? I'm a little upset with Adam. You feel me? I don't fuck with that. It's a lot of minorities that work in the building. I don't think a person like that, whether you think they're reformed or not, should get platforms. Or at least if you're going to do it, have somebody that's there that's able to challenge and make shit shake when it come down to that. Mm. Next thing I know, I get a hit up from Adam about Thursday or Friday. Adam says, I think in order for us for us to have a friendship and... Oh, so he was trying to platform. He was trying to platform somebody and some wasn't in jacking it. Which I feel like AD and them got a like they got a valid stance in that. Like they could they gotta kind of I get it, it's Adam's show, but they gotta say so somewhat. You feel me? Like they co workers or employees at the end of the day and they there like often. So like they could kinda like have some input. Maybe not to they don't got a final say, but they, they there to for ideas and creativity. So feel me if they feel away or something like that and they could they could feel me say something. Us to remain friends. I think that you should stick to Wednesday, do the food show, and do the news, and no longer be a part of Tuesday. Um, the problem oh, though crazy. is that what people, people are acknowledging is a Adam never sat down with any of his um black co workers and told them, like, yo, I'm not really feeling this, we should move in a different direction. Uh, B, his black co workers went out and started their own platform, and there seems to be some jealousy there because. Adam felt like, oh man, like y'all, y'all are doing the same type of content. Y'all gonna be encroaching on what I want. However, Adam never extended himself to have their. Wait, how do we know that though? No jumper. And then seeing more importantly, um, a lot of I like personal though. information about how much money some uh, some people getting paid, bad jokes being told, et cetera, et cetera. Bad jokes being told. Out, yeah, we I had to that. we had to end peer to peer. And so uh, I think there is um, a discrepancy right. between working with somebody as a coworker and also as a friend, right? And so they they built a relationship yeah. beyond no jumper. Mm. It became a little bit more personal. And so when he was trying to make the pivot, I think Adam struggled with that. Mm -hmm. and instead of being open and honest and upfront, it came with a bunch of backstabbing and behind the back talks. So that's the other problem that Adam brought in some colorful characters, one of which um, was a neo Nazi. And then he's. Neo Nazi? Said some. He said, Whoa, Africans have benefited from white supremacy. What the? That was going through back and forth and he was debating destiny instead of adam pressing him on some of the negative things that he said the same way that many people feel as if like the platform presses young black entertainers about the things that they do mm -hmm. instead of pressing them on that him on that he just allowed him to Let get him off rhetoric whatever. and say that he's a changed man and oh i'm different and that's not who i am even though some of the events that question about this gentleman happened just like a year or two ago like two or three years ago and on top of that while having destiny over um destiny referred to adam 22 as a slave owner. I was invited to your show of yours. I had to look up like 30 things. So I thought you were inviting me to fuck you. And you thought girlfriend. I was black when I, you No, first well, yeah, invited. that too, also. Well, because everyone said Adam does hip hop, so I didn't know you were just a slave owner. Hip hop. And not the oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is disgusting. Holy shit, bro. What's, re what's really going on here? Nick son laughed too. He was he was the main he was the main voice in the laughter. Uh, wow. Listen, I'm here to rep a 
Okay. I what? Like how, oh, Lord. <laughs> bleep, bleep that. I, uh, I thought I was like, you know when like sometimes you don't get it? Yeah. I was like in a state that I don't get it. Are they laughing at the joke? Or was this like an awkward laugh? Cause if nah, that was awkward. awkward but then I thought like Adam is too direct of a human to pretend to laugh for another nigga though. So then that's that's what everybody's saying. The way that Adam presents himself in a lot of these interviews where he's much more direct. He wasn't direct then. So if, or if it's, if it's an awkward laugh, that's not how Adam presents himself. And then looking at the neo-Nazi interview, there's no direct line of questioning. It's more so I'm just gonna sit back and allow these these uh these back and this back and forth between these two individuals without actually addressing this person who is saying who said very ill things to people that I work with on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't think either of those clips make him racist, bro. Because for him to be racist, he had to think less of black people. I just think he's less informed when it comes to the new stuff he's trying to do. Yes. Like I think he was really informed with the mm. music stuff so he can challenge people on things because he had a good understanding of music. But that'd be like if I went from making a basketball podcast to making a podcast about politics. If I don't know as much about politics, there's gonna be a, a lot. lot. I can't yeah, I, you gotta lot. learn. There's so much like But that's why it's yo, yo, that's why it's very important though. Like if you wanna have somebody on your podcast that's gonna challenge your belief or challenge your viewpoint or be insightful in, a, in an area that you're not insightful for, man, get a little informed. Like, you feel me? It's do some due diligence. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, this is your platform, brother. Point blank, period. I'm not saying you got to be an expert, but at least, uh, let's say, at least have somebody that may know something, a little bit of something about this or, or, or is way more informed than you. Like, Adam got the resources to, he could have brought anybody else on the show to combat what someone was saying. And vice versa. Like, it, that's just how I go. If you're not informed, get somebody informed. And if you're not informed, you don't feel like getting somebody, get a little informed, a little in touch with with whatever talking points or uh, topics y'all gonna be happy, y'all gonna be discussing. You feel me? It's that simple, bro. It's that simple. Neo Nazi? Who are we talking about? Son talking about something we thought you had. To, we thought you was a slave owner. Like what are we? What? People trying to put on him, and that's a Geppetto one. Oh. Yeah, on this right that. here, boy, this is Adam. Adam was fucking girls that was the same age as me when I was 16. Like, what's wrong with you, bro? She was 19 when you met her? You yeah, he's just the point, I, bro. you know, had been pretty interesting. Neo from neo-Nazi to, to, to Geppetto? Didn't hurt before I realized that she was under age. He's crying right now. HelloFresh has made my life so much easier. It gives you all Yo. the need to make yeah, that's really cool. delicious <laughs> Man, dude, she was hooking up with, but she apparently had the foresight to realize how cool I would inevitably. But she apparently had the foresight to realize how cool I would inevitably end up being. Wink, wink. One night in particular, we ended up talking on the phone, and she went into vivid detail about how she wanted me to go to Canada to see her and have sex with her. I won't even bother telling her what she described wanting me to do to her, because by the end of the story, I'll actually have done all of them to her, and worse. The conversation left me hot and bothered, to say the least. Now, any of the ma now any of the math inclined out there are probably reading this and thinking something like, "She's 19 now. You were 23 then. How old was she then?" Well, she was 16, but come on, man, look at her. She's 18 or 19 in most of the pics here, but she didn't look much different at all back then. If statutory is wrong, I don't want to be right. Bruh. Now, what? I could make the argument. Yo, I'm not going to lie. Niggas be wildin'. What is this article? Like, did he say this verbatim? Did he post this? What is this? In Canada, although I'm sure traveling from America to Canada to have sex with a minor is still illegal as hell. But really, an argument. She was stupid hot and I wanted it. Now, how the fuck... Do you justify that? I don't know. I, I sincerely don't know. I don't think you do, man. I don't know. So for those who don't know, that's a blog post from Adam22. Himself. Himself. Not not Oh my fault if I'm yelling in the mic, bro. Pause. That's him? He posted that? It's not like nah, this could be a fake account, chill, bro. This Somebody else, he himself, put that blog post out. Back when blog posts were a thing. Yeah, man. back back in the day. I do remember yeah, him doing that type posts. like blogging um, and posting. And so person. recently, however, Somebody got should called out on it by someone else who came to the uh, to do an interview, called him out, said, Yo, man, you know, this is what I do for a living. I, I, I Oh, that's that nigga. And you done said some flagrant stuff back in the day. Flagrant. Which was really on with time. Unfortunately, he got kicked out of the interview because Adam that should never air. exposing was something that you don't know all the facts on. The one where you was messed with the 16 year old girl? Mm. What do you think of the official per buster? Pause. That's crazy. Exposed Adam 22 to the pedal. Article says I'm going on 19 when I met her. She was 19 when you met her? Yeah. The you... article says it. So, but what did you say? I said that I spoke. Oh, he was live doing this? Before I realized that she was. That's how we catch a lot. That's how we catch She didn't even know that she was doing something fucked up. But I yeah, what was she doing fucked up? You was talking to her. She's only 16, bro. You're talking to yo. Once you find out the age, 
you got to dip. That's it, my G. It's nothing else to discuss, nothing to talk about, it's nothing to link about, nothing, bro. Saying that you're going, when she turns 16, you're going to pull up and all this, all that, bro. Are you crazy? It don't even matter, but that's how that's we catch it. You feel like you're going to come on my platform and expose me. Oh, like, oh it, 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 it was just in the midst of the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was in the midst of, he, he didn't, hey, he, yeah. it, it's not on him on nothing. Yeah. It was in the midst of the conversation. But you came on my platform and spread lies like that? Lies? Spread lies? lies. Oh, Is it lies? I mean, you could have done some research. Yo, I ain't going to lie. Did you talk to her when you was... I ain't going to lie, how... The, the 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 post that blog post is very telling brother you made that yourself you feel me you smell me that's crazy work 16 for like five minutes when i was 21 i'm 39 you wasn't 23 i was you know, I I been 21, right? so how you don't know how, how you don't yeah, know if you because were 21 it was 20 years ago it, 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 it still happened though wait, but we can't take that jacket off wait, wait, right? so oh we can't take to that the bottom of it however the internet does what the internet does and they've been digging things up and this is a sliver of what has occurred but without a doubt this is weird behavior at bare minimum yeah, yeah. very weird. adam is saying that he didn't do anything with her until she was 19. well you're waiting around based on the fucking weird. blog post that he posted himself it sure sounds like he did because he admitted to it in the blog post unless he was lying but then after or all the joking <laughs> years Wigan, she bro. came out with some allegations that he did things to her against her consent so oh then he God. released emails of her basically saying like no after the incident like everything was completely fine so he was fucking with her look. otherwise you would have flagged it here in this email it's a very messy situation and i'm not gonna lie on top of all the other things this is probably the worst look by far by by far and what's in what's even crazier is allegations of adam um doxing this young lady as well Yo. posting Oh, nah, uh, photos weird. of her again um, some photos. years back but posting photos of her um potentially again all allegations we're not a hundred percent sure how much a lot of this is true but adam has openly admitted that the blog post some he wrote some he did people have archived it it's existed so he's not denying that he's just saying that um he didn't interact with her until she was of age when she was 18 19. but she was interacting with her and i think i think joe budden did a, a really great job at explaining how um weird it is you know you talk to you 16 exactly. but somehow you waited exactly the... to then go back yo, yo, to yo, yo. with her and then the story <laughs> that was told is that you went to her house to her mom's place had sex with her while her mom was there and again you waited till she was of age now That's i'm honest with you adam um i don't know if you want a cookie from us that you waited till she was of age i don't know i don't know what to tell you there but... you plotted bro you plotted on this girl when she was 16 it was like yeah you know what she get older i got her Probably stayed in contact with her throughout the periodically throughout the time. Like, come on, bro. That's weird. That's weird, bro. You went all the way to Canada for some sixteen year old. Well, I mean, she was old, she was of age, but you knew she was sixteen. Waited, flew all the way to Canada to beat down because you couldn't beat down when she was sixteen. Like, you're weird, bro. But my boy, that's that's weird as fuck, nigga. That that's weird. Dumb weird that is bro. weird. That that's the equivalent of you dating a high schooler and waiting until she graduates high school to be like, oh well, she's finally legal now. What? Because we, we now know oh, that, shit, that you bro. already had sexual desires for her when she, she was, was sixteen. 16. Yeah, you bro. saw her at sixteen. He was like, I got, I gotta have her, man. That's the same thing. Uh, Tiger and them niggas did. Yo, and they admit. Yo, Tiger admitted to it too, bro. These niggas in the industry and these, and these famous people be on this type of it, bro. Tiger, when he was dating college, and he said, like, yeah, niggas clipped when she was young. Like, basically in the rap, like, yeah. But when she got, I guess when she got older, then he kind of admitted it in the song. Then it was like, oh, yeah, it's cool. Thought that she First of all, he was a adult when he was. Allegedly her. had pictures of her when she was a minor as well, but waited until she was of age to do something. Um, Yeah, legally, I guess. Yeah, legally. You're you're in good grounds. But um, for the rest of the world, we kind of view that a little strange. Bro. I'm going to keep it a bean with you, bro. That's that's odd. That's odd to say the least, especially that when you were outlining the things that you wanted to do with her and you were willing to take. Even even the, let's just say it was a joke. Let's say you were jokingly being an edge lord back in the day on, on blog posts. Like, let's just say that's that's what you're doing. Let's just say that's what it was. However, you then fulfilled that fantasy when she was of age and went to her house while her mom was in the next room. Like, come on, bro. That's weird. Nah, I like if like that's weird. if you're having a consensual relationship with someone at the end of the day, cool. I try not to make that none of my business. You feel me? But it's isn't it insane how people feel open to say what they want when they feel like don't they don't have, have that lose, much right? to lose? Yeah. Or they feel like there's no consequences for it. Mm -hmm. Like regardless of how it is morally. Yeah. Morally. 
is morally, some ethically. Of the wildest shit I've read in a while. It's because nobody would post some shit like this. Nobody would post not something. Nobody would post something like that. Even if they did, they definitely not putting their name to it. This nigga Adam had the the yeah. iconic Adam, Adam 22, 22 logo and everything attached to this. Right? It's, it's like and and then also openly admitted that that was him as well. Yeah, so then the situation got messier than that because then she came out saying some of it wasn't consensual, and then he was trying to prove it was by showing some emails. That's messy, bro. You just just take the L, man. You look crazy, bro. You got a wife, kid, like like thirty. I get it, but what the fuck? Man, you was doing some weird shit, bro. You was doing some real and op shit. Yo, I, I like. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Yeah, worst look in my opinion. This is by by far the worst look. Everything else, yo, you dealing with business and friends that can get messy, awkward, understandable. Um, This is potentially having and this all happens simultaneously. Some other people and not being properly prepared to interview someone who is a you could work with Nazi. Not as understandable, but I'm not gonna act like I went to every interview that I have done as like knowing everything that I know. I'm not gonna act like. But Wait, he posted those photos in the blog post? But they, 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 like I said, photos. she was look, you, you Adam twenty two, aka Adam John on um, Grand's whatever of no jumper on and on some shit manipulating me into sexual relationship when I was sixteen years old, R worded me when I was nineteen, doxed me with revenge porn blog months oh, after that was the doxing yeah. for the revenge. Okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. Revenge okay. porn. Which included talking photos of me as a minor. That's Oh, oh! Yo, nah, this nigga's clip, bro. I ain't watching nothing else. He's done. This nigga's done. Yo, bro. So he knew he was dealing with her when she was 16, bro. How'd you get underage pictures of her, G? Femmes, you're done. He's cooked, bro. Talking about you wasn't fucking with that girl you're 16. She was sending you under... And I, the age of consent is probably still... But st- nah, I'm out. I ain't even... There's nothing you justify that. I'm out. Y'all be safe, son. Y'all be safe. <laughs> these, these, these niggas be waiting.